Don't know if you could hear that or not, but that is definitely patriotism at its finest. Hey, today's video, strictly about motorhome projects. So if that's not your thing, no worries, man. We got plenty more coming every Saturday at six o'clock. But today is gonna be all about the motorhome. And yes, these are the first three of the nine total solar panels that are gonna be going on the roof of the motorhome. So let's get flipped around here. I'll tell you about them, why we chose them, and what the plans are moving forward. So yes, here are the first three of the nine total panels that are going to be going on the roof of the motorhome. Uh, we ended up going with new power panels um, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, these are 210 watt a piece panels, so 630 watts. Uh, they'll make about 11 and a half amps or so a piece. Um, and... The reason why we ended up going with them, yes, we talked to multiple other people. Uh, Renogy, uh, I'm sorry, not Renogy, um, Rich Solar. Uh, well, yeah, the Renogy panels as well. Also, a, a ton of information, okay. Um, and a huge shout out here first off to uh, Future Solutions in Indiana. If you happen to watch the Keep Your Daydream YouTube videos, you will know that they have had two rigs done there uh, for complete solar uh, installs and and they're phenomenal people. A wealth of information, a wealth of knowledge. They are a total one-stop shop. Uh, they have the products, they can do the installs and everything for you. Fantastic people. However, <laughs> we're not sponsored and we don't have the checkbook that those folks have. So, man, I'm sorry. I, I really would have loved to have just dropped the rig off and had it done like KYD did, but we just can't afford that right now at our point in life. So, I just started reaching out to multiple product installers and multiple product producers and we were very tickled with new power after talking to them they made a lot of recommendations on what we what they thought we should do and they looked forward to as our solar advanced on down the road of working with us uh, to try to make things better as we went so i can't give those people also enough thanks uh also Huge thanks to uh, Northern Arizona Wind and Solar, I think it is, or Wind and Power. Uh, again, great people to work with. They were fantastic to talk to, a wealth of knowledge as well. I felt that, you know, at this point in time, I am plenty capable of doing the projects on the motorhome, as you have seen plenty of times. So there was just really no reason to uh, waste that much money initially right now while we can do what we are doing. I am very happy with the panels I received in. Uh, 10 gauge MC4 connectors. They are very uh, weather protected on here. They, they are a nice panel. I'm very happy with them. And as we move on down the road and use these babies, I am going to be definitely talking about them and how they perform. And, you know, if, if they work, uh, we'll use them. I mean, if they don't, well, you know, we'll do what we do. But I really have no reason to think at this time that they're not going to perform very well for us as you know from the other videos uh, we do have the lithium installed we do have the dc to dc installed from renergy the dc to dc has been a fantastic charger love the thing i would use it again in a drop dead heartbeat the only drawback renergy come on guys okay the drawback is you can't run a 24 volt or higher photo uh, uh, array and you're limited to really running your panels in a 12 volt configuration. Hence why we only have three. The charger is only capable of about 600 watts and 25 amps output on it. So the three panels uh, in parallel, um, you know, again, 11 amps a piece. Uh, it's about 33 amps, a little more than what the, the charger is capable of, but we'll never see that out of the panels to begin with. Same thing with the wattage. Yes, even though they are 210 watt panels, we will never, ever, ever produce 630 watts. Just not gonna happen. So they should be sized perfectly. 
Uh, again, new power. Thanks to them guys for helping us out so much uh, before we finally installed them. Uh, a little bit about the lithium batteries again. We have had them in there now for several months. That was not a bad decision to do. Oh my God, those lithium batteries have been absolutely awesome. Uh, we just got back home from a round trip out to Florida for a week. Uh, we did some overnighting on the way out there and some way back. And at one time, I think I saw on the panel inside the motorhome, we were drawing uh, roughly 160 amps off the batteries. Uh, we were running the microwave and electric skillet. And the the voltage, I think, dropped to 12.9 on the batteries while we were using them under load. And as soon as we shut the load off, bam, they were right back at 13.3 volts. We had all the overhead AC lighting on, the TVs going... Oh my God, lithium. Uh, God, you are fantastic. Um, I do have 600 amp hours in there. I am working on getting the stuff together to build two more. Uh, I should have one more here pretty soon for the 900 amp hours. So we are literally going to have all the power that we need. And then once we get the nine total panels up there, again, I mean, we're going to be set. Uh, these three will be a little limited though because of the, the setup that we're initially going to be using, but I didn't want to waste that feature. There was no reason to. It is there and it will work just fine for now. The other six panels that are going to be going on will be set up a lot different and we will be using some Victron solar charge controllers and some more uh, pieces and goodies coming later on down the road. Yes, we are still going to be utilizing our current inverter charger setup that we have there's nothing wrong with it it works great it just couldn't charge the lithium batteries so again if you saw in the other videos we did end up installing the progressive dynamics um lithium specific battery charger so when we are plugged in or running the generator charging the batteries is not a problem and when we're traveling down the highway uh because of the renergy dc to dc charger charging the batteries is not a problem I just needed something to kind of top them off during the day while we were just sitting, and this is going to work just fine. So, with that being said, that's just a really quick little video here, just uh, the overview of how the projects are going to be coming. So, the initial install is going to be this first bank of three panels with what we have, and then later down the road, uh, we will pick up the other six panels and start getting the Victron controllers and getting those installed. Um, I will probably do those panels in kind of a, um, a situational thing as we go forward also because the Victron controllers we will probably be setting up where we're going to be running a 24 volt uh, solar setup so the other six panels will we'll get them configured where we'll probably be running 24 volts on the uh, charge controller so that would be much much better to utilize uh, the efficiency of them and it'll just work out better in the end uh once we get the total package on there um you know approximately uh let's see we'll have you know 1200 amp hours of lithium battery and then with the nine panels we're still going to be using the 210 watt panels so you know we should end up with a good at least 1800 watt array up there and at that point in time we may do away with using the solar charge controller on the energy side uh because we could just do it much more efficiently with some different equipment but Maybe by that time, Renergy will have stepped up and made this little dude where it will take more input. Come on, Renergy. <laughs> We're looking for you guys. But I still highly recommend it. It's a fantastic product. Thank you, Renergy, so much for that. So, again, a little rambling. That's the overview of it. Uh, first phase, three panels. Second phase will be the additional six panels with the rest of the equipment. I love the lithium batteries. We have used the heck out of them. They work great. Maybe once we get everything installed there, we'll go ahead and do some, um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll go ahead and utilize some equipment where we could run the ACs uh, for, you know, short periods of time during the day on the batteries if we so needed it. But that wasn't really totally important to me for right now. So I'm just not looking at doing that for right now. So guys, stay tuned. More Country Coach videos coming with the LifePo batteries and the solar getting ready to be installed. Uh, thanks to the subscribers out there. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thanks for all the information. KYD, keep your daydream. You guys rock. Uh, they have been very inspirational to us, and I really do appreciate their help on uh, the things that they have said to us and their recommendations as well. So keep a lookout. Coming soon, more information. Keep on keeping on. If you haven't subscribed, 
please take the time to do so. It doesn't hurt, not one bit. It's real easy. All you gotta do is push the button, push the bell. We would appreciate your help. Doesn't cost you a thing, right? We'll see you guys down the road. And remember, we still have a long, long way to go.